morning YouTube. Um, in my uh, in my last vlog, um, I talked about my my wanting to move from my current broadband uh, provider, Tortor. Um, well, I rang them last night to uh, first of all find out when my uh, contract expires for definite, when it's the uh, 14th of Feb. And um, I thought I'd do the decent thing by uh, giving them some notice. So I settled them up. I'm planning on going elsewhere, so I wish to give you notice. You think that would be fairly straightforward and simple? No chance. Oh, sorry, you're going. You know, can we uh, can we offer you another deal? No, I don't want another deal. Um, your service has been rubbish, and I want to go somewhere else. So, you know, please, can we, um, can we cancel it on the 14th? Oh, um, you do realise that you're not guaranteed to get as good a service anywhere else. There's a lot, I know all that. I know there's never any guarantees, but from what I've read, the provider I'm going to is uh, pretty good. Um, good customer service, good customer satisfaction. So, and I've not been satisfied with your service for for the entire time I've been with you and I really want to move. Oh, perhaps I can give you a quote for a better deal. That's a lot, I don't want a better deal. Um, I really don't, you know, by this time I'm getting a bit, I'm getting a bit agitated. I'm not getting annoyed or rude with them, but you know, when someone's trying to get on your goat. Anyway, the chap says, well, can I just put you through to someone else, a colleague? No, not really. Anyway, he didn't listen, so, a few moments passed and I get this woman on the phone and she claims to be some sort of supervisor. Oh, I hear you want to move. Yes, I do want to move. Um, you know, can I just can I just give you notice that on the 14th I'm going to move elsewhere? Oh, well, before you go, we might be able to do a good deal. You're a loyal customer. I said, look, I've just already had this with your colleague. I don't want a, a new deal. I don't want to extend my contract. I don't want a new contract. I just to move. <sighs> anyway, I spent another few minutes talking to this woman and she was not having it. I thought, this is ridiculous. You know, how, you know, all I want to do is move provider. Anyway, she finally said, okay, if I can't convince you, I'll, I'll put you back through to my colleague and he can uh, go through the process of uh, cancelling your contract. I thought, good, cool, thank you very much. Anyway, puts me back through to the first shop I spoke to. Bloody, and he started again. You know, I, I really think I can do it. I said, look, i tell you what, forget it. Forget it. Because at the end of my contract, I'm now on free just to go somewhere else. So forget about me giving you any notice. I'm just going to go. And I just put the phone down and I thought, you know what? Talk, talk. You need to listen, listen. And listen to your customers. You know, there's absolutely no way now am I stopping with them nor am I going to ever go back to them. You know, it's ridiculous. I mean, what happened to just, you know, listening to your customers? I tried to explain to them that I really wasn't happy with the service and I really wanted to go. It was as simple as that. But God, you just get passed from pillar to post, one salesman after another, and, you know, it's just one way of really pissing your customers off. So anyway, I was most unhappy when I finished that conversation. I spent the best part of 15 minutes rattling on with these two individuals and I got no further forward. So I ended up ringing somebody else who I'd been thinking about changing for a while and oh, talk about straightforward. It was so easy. The, the chap I spoke to, really helpful, explained what would happen, how long it would take, um, that I'd get a welcome pack. If I wasn't happy with it, I'd time to ring up and cancel um, you know and the change in attitude well, maybe it was because I was a you know a potential new customer or not but you know it was, it was a breath of fresh air really having had a really difficult and awkward conversation with Talk Talk it was really nice speaking to someone who was friendly and warm and welcoming and helpful and he listened you know I had some questions about it and he answered them honestly and 
and it and it kind of made me mind up. You know, I was thinking about changing and changing my provider to this company, but you know, he gave me the answers to my questions. He didn't force me to have the most expensive package. He listened to what my requirements were, and we did the deal. And hopefully, I think from the 17th of uh, February, because that's the earliest date in which an engineer can come round, I will be changing. And thank goodness. So, good riddance talk talk. And uh, I look forward to uh, working with my new provider. So, that's my, uh, my trauma. Another thing I want to talk to you about is my solar bear challenge. I'm really uh, flying through the challenges. Uh, I think I'm almost finished it now. Uh, and looking at uh, other people's videos, it's getting a bit close. Who's going to win? I know it's not all about winning, but it'd be nice to win. And uh, there's some really good uh, entries, so if you're one of those that's uh, entering at the minute, best of luck to you. And I hope you get it finished. And, uh, you know, may the best man win. Right, I think that'll do for now, folks. That's my rant over. I'm sorry if it's been a bit of a moany rant. But, uh, as always, ride safe. And I'll uh, catch you next time.